Good evening and welcome to Tuesday Evening Prayer. Hopefully it will be an eclectic form of prayer where we will be guided to read various prayers that will be presented to my heart by the Christ and hopefully we will conclude with the reading and the intercessions for Vespers for this Tuesday in Lent. But first, I would like you to join me just for a moment as we find our lighter to light our candle. And this evening, I'm dedicating prayer for Teo's Musketeers. Within our community, there are a, there's a core group who've taken the call of God to their heart. And I call them our Franciscan Musketeers for Nancy in Mexico, for Sister Jacqueline in Idaho, for Brother Brian, our Franciscan trucker in America, for Brother Matthew in Texas, for Brother Liam in London, for Sister Jane in Coventry, for Sister Elaine in County Durham, for Eleanor in Philadelphia, for Buffy in New York, for our hermits, our friends, and our associates. So we light this light and we say, Father, Mother, God, in the presence of all that is, thank you. Thank you for your gift of friendship, for your personal invitation to come follow you. And in denying ourselves, we actually find that his hidden treasure, and instead of burying it, we invest it in our intercessory prayers here, and also for Maggie Woodall in London, for Eric in Sweden. I almost forgot. So, let's begin our evening prologue for our Tuesday evening prayers. We enter the eternal an infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the Brotherhood and Sisterhood of the Elect. Tuesday evening we commune with the Angel of Power, saying, Angel of Power, descend upon my acting body and direct all my acts. As you contemplate the stars, the radiations, and the cosmic ocean of love and life, you begin to experience the cosmovital forces from the stars being absorbed by the nervous system of the acting body. And I'm going to pray this special prayer for those of us who've come under vitriolic satanic attack, as we are bearers of Christ's love in a world that needs prayer. In the name of all that is, we draw a bloodline by faith, knowing that there is power in the blood of the Christ Jesus. And we pray this evening for all our brothers and sisters in our community, for our extended family, our Franciscan brothers and sisters in the Christian tradition, for our neighbours and for the many who ask for prayer and our own families and grandchildren. We draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power in the blood of Christ, wondrous power in the blood of Jesus, and neither Satan nor any of his co-workers, dark energies or entities can ever cross such a sacred bloodline. Amen. And now, let's go with the flow and see what Spirit has for us. A prayer from Om um, Pakash Sharma, President of the National Council of Hindu Temples in the United Kingdom. And it's from the Srimad Bhagav Puran. May the world be peaceful, may the wicked become gentle. May all creatures think of mutual welfare. May their minds be occupied with what is auspicious, and may our hearts be immersed in the selfless love for the Lord. And 
from the Reverend Norman Shanks, leader of the Iona community in Northumberland, sorry, in the Western Hebrides, Scotland. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls, it is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with hands. We are your body. If every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes which you, in the mystery, look out in compassion on the world. Yet we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, and your indwelling. Take us outside, Lord, outside holiness, out to where soldiers curse and nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified. We ask it for your own name's sake. And now I'm guided to read from the Peace Prayers from the World's Faiths by Roger Granger. And this section is for the vulnerable. From the Psalms of the Old Testament Bible, Psalm 62, verse 2, He is my fortress, I shall never be shaken. Do they not see the birds above their heads spreading their wings and closing them? None save the merciful sustains them. Who is it that will defend you like an entire army, if not the merciful? And that's from the Quran and from the Jewish Psalm 91. We, we pray for all who live in fear of war or dread acts of terrorism. We pray for those who feel they must prepare for violence, not knowing where it may strike next. We pray for people whose job it is to teach others to fear those whose calling is to give encouragement to others. And we pray for all working together to bring terror to an end by sowing new, the new seeds of peace throughout the world. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. And again, from the Jain community, one who you think should be hit is none else but you. One who you think should be governed is none else but you. One who you think should be tortured is none else but you. One who you think should be enslaved is none else but you. One who you think should be killed is none else but you. And from the Quran, blessed are the believers who are humble in their prayers. Ah, but there's more. From the Brahma Kumaris, I am able to face all types of challenges when I know how to keep my mind clear and calm. And God is always on hand to help if I am brave enough to set aside my negative feelings and worrying thoughts and let myself be guided by pure love. And for those who are prone to human arrogance and pride, from Psalm 101, verse 5, Haughty eyes and a proud heart I will not endure. And from the Baha'i faith, Cleanse ye your eyes, so that ye behold no man as different from yourselves. Wow, there you have it. But I'm guided to read from the late Cardinal Basil Hume and Robert Runcy, Prayers for Peace. Allow me. From Pax Christi, Lord, open our eyes to the sufferings of our imprisoned brothers and sisters, so that by our understanding and love we may bring them your peace and joy. You came to set us free. May your light shine on the captives, relieve their suffering, and enable us all to grow toward true freedom in justice and harmony. And that's from Pax Christi. And from St. Augustine of Hippo. Can any praise be worthy of the Lord's majesty? How magnificent his strength! How inscrutable his wisdom! 
Man is one of your creatures, Lord, and his instinct, instinct is to praise you. The thought of you stirs him so deeply that he cannot be content unless he praises you, because you made us for yourself and our hearts find no peace until they rest in you. Isn't that lovely? And from the Dai Lama. To humble beings immersed in suffering without respite, all hurried by terrible and endless karma, unbearable disease, fighting, starvation, and all manner of dangers, let an ocean of happiness and peace arise. Oh, wow. And don't you feel embarrassed and ashamed when your brother and sister Christians say we're having nothing to do with other religions, and yet when you read such beautiful prayers, it really leaves you humbled in the presence of God. It does me. It does me. Now coming to the Office of Vespers for this Tuesday in Lent. Let us be guided now. We have a scripture reading from Jays 2. What does it profit, my brethren, if a man says he has faith but has no works? Can his faith save him? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by my works will show you my faith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. And the Magnificent Antiphon, when you pray, Go into your room and shut your door and pray to your Father, Mother God, who is waiting there for you. And now I invite you to join me for the beautiful Magnificat, the Canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant. That's you and me, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the Magnificat Antiphon. When you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Heavenly Father, Mother God, who's waiting there for you. And before we do intercessions, I'm guided to read this, the reading for today from Celtic Daily Prayer from the Northumberland community. The mighty God, the everlasting Father Mother, the Prince of Peace, wonderful Counselor, the one who said, I am that I am, that is my name, comes when we call. He comes, but not because we are lords and he our slave. The God who comes awaits our signal, our vigil fire lit to welcome his coming. He longs to be with us, to love and protect us. The breastplate prayer ends as it begins. 
like the interweaving of Celtic design, it really has no ending. Only eternity in which the design brings us back to the same place, more secure in the knowledge that our life is eternal and interlocked with his own. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Mother, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. That is such a lovely reading. And now our intercessions. Mm. Right. Let us pray earnestly to the cosmic Christ Jesus. He tells us to watch and pray that we may not fall into temptation. Response, hear us, Lord, and have mercy on us tonight. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy on us tonight. Lord Jesus, you promise to be with those who are gathered in your name. Keep us united with you as we pray to the Father, Mother, God, in the Holy Spirit response hear us lord and have mercy on us tonight cleanse your church from every stain of sin and judgment make her alive with hope and the power of the spirit to forgive those who have wronged them and to forgive oneself response hear us lord and have mercy Help us to care for our neighbour and show your love for all men and women. Through us, let the light of your salvation shine in the world. Response, hear us, Lord, and have mercy on us tonight. Let your peace spread to the ends of the earth. Let all men see in every place the signs of your presence. Response, hear us, Lord, and have mercy on us tonight. Bring the dead to everlasting happiness. Let glory and immortal life be theirs. Response, hear us, Lord, and have mercy on us tonight. And now, as, we, as is customary for each time when we come to our intercessions, if there is something weighing heavy on your heart, maybe unforgiveness, maybe resentment or arrogance or anger, or maybe you're troubled by what's happening in the world, or maybe you're just feeling down and desolate. Name it. It's yours. Bless it. And now immediately hand it over to Christ and let him take it to God. In that mindset of gratitude, just say, thank you, Lord God, for relieving me of this concern or worry and setting me free. Amen. So just be still now. And now we bring to mind that when we began our evening prayer, we dedicated it to Tales Musketeers, to our dear sister Nancy in New Mexi in Mexico, to dear sister Jacqueline in Idaho, to dear brother Brian, our Franciscan trucker, to brother Matthew in Texas, to brother Liam in London, to sister Jane in Coventry, to sister Elaine in Peter Lee, to sister Miriam in New Zealand, to sister Eleanor in Philadelphia, to our brothers and sisters around the world who are hermits and to have given their lives to God for interspiritual unity and global peace. We also remember our dear sister Maggie Woodall in London and for brother Eric in Sweden and his family. We bring our dear neighbour Noreen who's had a better day. Thank God. We bring 
our own brothers here, Paul and Rob, especially Brother Rob, who's come back with a huge virus, so we send him love. We remember our dear sister Buffy. We remember all our Franciscan brothers and sisters within the Christian tradition, especially Brother Paul, the founder of the Franciscan Hermits, for Brother Paul Gordon and for dear Brother Bjorn. We remember the many who have asked our prayers for Caroline on the Isle of Wight, for Skip and Thomas Aquinas Q on Google Hangouts, for dear sister Gonzale de los Santos, her son Daniel and her brother Faustian, for our dear sister Diane and her daughter Kerry, for Teresa and her mum, for dear mother Olivia, and for the many who would appreciate a prayer this evening especially for Hazel, for Maria and Lorraine and our dear friend Bernie, who's only young and who's having lots of issues, bless her, because of a brain tumour. We bring all God's children to this table. We bring our religious leaders, our politicians, Donald Trump, the most powerful man in the world, and yet... He really does need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We bring all the men and women who dedicated their lives to you in the monastic religious life and also as rabbis, imams, monks and nuns in the Buddhist family, leaders in the Baha'i family and for the release of the prisoners being held of the Baha'i faith in Iran. We pray for our refugees and migrants. We pray for our young children of the world who are displaced because of the troubles in Syria. And we ask your protection, Lord, on them from being exploited or trafficked. And we pray for our prisoners on death row and those in correctional institutes around the world, for those who are homeless, like Claire and Michael in Coventry, friends of Sister Jane. Let us be still now. And let us now allow the Lord Christ to knock on our heart and join him as we praise our Father, Mother God, when we say, Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us tonight our daily bread, and forgive us our trespass. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, negativity and despair. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And I forgot to pray for my sister Rosemary, who's very poorly in Dublin. Forgive me, Rose, who's got a rather nasty recurrent chest infection. So we send you love, dear Rose. Okay. Our closing prayer. The Book of Comfort and Healing. And I'm going to open it at random. From Buddhism. If by giving up a small pleasure, one sees a great pleasure, the wise will let go of the small pleasure and look to the Great One. And again, bear with me. Lord, may all be happy. O Lord, grant happiness to all of us. May no one be unhappy. May all be healthy and possess all the good things of life. May all of us see goodness everywhere and all follow the path of virtue and righteousness. May all your creation be happy and no one be miserable. And that's from our brother and sister Hindus. Lovely. So now we end our prayer. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those who we love this night and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom. Be in our heart this night and forevermore. Amen.
And as we come to blow out this light, we thank God, Francis and Claire, all the great archangels and angels, the saints, spiritual teachers of all faith traditions, the ascended masters, for our te, O mighty companions. Amen. So we say, go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, and shalom, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of our God, the God who has many names, touch your heart and fill you with the peace of God. Amen. So thank you for joining me, my dear friends, and I wish you all a wonderful evening, whatever you may be doing. So take care. Thank you.